Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and in this video we're going to be creating a script to download images automatically from Bing search engine. Let's go ahead and go to bing.com and click on images. I'm going to enter nature for the keyword, but you guys can enter anything you like. So these are all the images I'm going to be downloading to my computer. I already have the script created, so I'm just going to demonstrate what it's going to do. I'm going to copy the script name and I'm going to open up the command window here. Type PHP to run the script, enter, and then check the images folder. And as you can see, all the images are being downloaded automatically. And I can double click on one of them and it's going to show the full resolution of the image. So that's what we're going to be creating. Let's go ahead and get started on the script. Okay, so I have an empty, uh, I created an empty file called it download Bing images.php. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to copy this URL here. But before we do that, let's go ahead and click on filter, go to image size and click on extra large. And for the type, I want to select photograph. Now we can copy this URL up here into our file and just comment it out for now and leave it like that. So for the keyword, this time I'm just going to use nature. And as you can see, Bing created the keyword twice in the URL for some reason. So we want to replace that with our keyword. And let's save that whole thing in a variable called URL and put it inside double quotes. And replace the nature with our keyword. Now we also want to replace the space with a plus sign because that's how the structure of URL works. So I'm going to use uh, concatenate and use the str replace function to replace the space with a plus sign and close it here. And I'm just going to copy the whole thing, including the double quotes and replace this part as well. Okay, so now our URL is ready to be loaded inside curl, which is what we're going to be using to get all the data from the page. And we're also going to be using curl to download the actual images. So I'm going to go to new line here and, and let's uh, create our curl resource by using a function called curl initialize. Then I'm going to set some curl options. The first one is going to be for loading up our URL. So I'm going to provide the curl resource, comma, curl opt URL, and then provide the URL that we're going to be loading, which is up here. Next up, I want to return the whole thing as data and store it inside the variable. So I'm going to use this constant called the return transfer and set it to true. Then I'm going to store the output inside the variable called output using curl execute function. And then um, the, what we want to do is curl close to close the curl resource. And that's it. Let's go ahead and test to see what the output looks like. Run the script. And perfect. It's uh, loading the search page where we're ready to be where we're ready to match all the image names along with the URLs so we can download them. But before we move on, let's actually create a quick function out of this uh, curl so that we don't have to repeat ourselves later on. So I'm going to type function and name it get and all it's going to have is a URL for the argument name. And I'm going to enclose everything inside the curly brackets. And then I'm going to return the output as I'm going to return the output from the function. So now if I wanted to use this, I would just and if I wanted to store everything inside the output variable, I would just type output equals get and then URL. So that we don't have to type all this over again when we're going to be loading another URL for image downloading. And now just to test it out again, echo output, everything still works just the same. So, okay, so the next step is to, we want to identify which parts of uh, images 
URLs that we're going to be matching. So here, I'm going to open up the developer tools and click on inspector. And actually, first, I'm going to click on one of these images. And then I'm going to open up the inspector and click uh, on the inspector and then click on the image itself. And then what I want to do here is I want to edit this HTML so I can copy the image URL and just go ahead and copy the image URL and save it inside of your file for now. Now, um, we're going to go back to the output. So go ahead and run the file again and make sure the output has been printed out. Then you can click, uh, you can cl right click on the window and go to view page source and then go ahead and search press control find and search for that exact URL that you just copied. So inside of this HTML source code, it's going to show this URL and this is the URL that we want to match. If you write, if you just click on it, it's going to show the full size resolution of the image, which is exactly what we want. So for the matching, we're going to copy this part, which is how we're going to be, which is how we're going to know that this is the image URL that we want to match. So we want to grab all of this HTML here and copy it inside of our file. Okay, so I'm just going to enclose all of that inside a comment. Okay, now we're ready to match all the image names using regular expression. So, pragmatch all. I'm going to go ahead and grab this HTML here. And for the actual URL, we don't need to be copying the whole thing. We're just going to say match anything and capture it inside the regular expression group. And I'm going to actually use single quotes. So we don't have to escape double quotes. And don't forget the exclamation marks. Then I'm going to provide the output, which is what we're going to be matching from and store everything inside URL matches. Then I can print our URL matches one and one is a group where everything is being captured just to test out to see if everything works. And let's go ahead and test this out. Oops, I closed it by accident. Let's go ahead and run it again. Okay, so it's printing out the output. So I'm going to comment this out. View source and perfect. All, all of the URLs of the images are being matched. Okay, so now, now that this works, we are ready to use curl to download Im all the images. But before we do that, we actually need the image name. So we, we got to capture this last part of the URL so that when we're saving those images, we can, um, we can have all the image names without the actual, uh, long URL, because it's not going to be valid if we're saving these images on a windows computer. And this part is actually a little bit tricky because if we're going to be matching this last part from the forward slash, to the last part, let me just show you something. I'm going to go to a site called regex101.com and I'm going to paste that image URL for the source code. So here's what would happen if I would try to match this last part. So if I just did that and I was expecting to match this last part from the forward slash to the JPEG, it would actually grab the first, the very first forward slash from the beginning and capture the whole URL. We don't want that. We don't want, we just want this last part where it says green wall, nature wall JPEG, which is the image name. So in order to do that, we're going to match all the matches, which have anything and end with a forward slash. And then we're going to use a function called end to grab the last match of the array, which is going to be this part here. And then we're going to use another regular expression to match this part until JPEG, which is going to give us the image name. 
Okay, this will make more sense as we code this. So let's go ahead and do that now. So first of all, what we want to do is we want to loop through all of our image URLs. So let's go ahead and create a loop for that. Set the counter and we're going to be counting until the end of our URL matches. Okay, here's the part where we're going to be matching all of uh, all of those uh, all of the content which ends with a forward slash. So we're going to use a function called preg match all, and for the regular expression, it's going to be very simple: match anything with, with a forward slash in it, which ends with a forward slash. And the content that we're going to be matching is URL underscore matches, which is our URL. Of course, provide the I as well. And then let's store everything inside the matches. And let's test it out. Let's see what the first one looks like. And I'm going to use die so it doesn't continue running. OK, so down here, you can see that it print from this first URL which is the block spot one with green nature wallpapers. It matched all the all the content with a forward slash in it. And this is our last part, which is what we want. So we're going to use a function called end to grab that last part. And we're going to name this. We're going to save that in a last part variable, which makes sense. Matches zero. And now let's echo out the last part. I'm going to comment this line out. Oops, I need to die here. OK, so that's the last part. And that's exactly what we're going to be using to match the image name. OK, so now that we have the last part, we're ready to match the image name. So let's use a prag match function put the last part inside of it. And the last part is going to be followed by the image name, which is which can be anything. And then it's going to end with a JPEG. And we're capturing everything inside the round brackets, which is going to be our capture. So for the content, we're matching the actual URL again. And we can store everything inside the match. OK, let's see if uh, print r match one die. OK, so it's uh, in fact matching the image name. And now now that we have the image URLs and we have uh, their the image names, we're ready to save them. So let's go ahead and do that. First of all, I'm going to I'm actually going to replace the plus sign from the image name with a dash, which is going to be a lot more uh, friendly when saving files to the computer. So that's how we replace the plus with a dash using the str, str replace function. Next up, let's save the image URL in a variable as well, which is going to be our URL matches one i. So that's going to be our image URL. Now, uh, now that we have the image URL, we actually want to load up the curl to get the image data. So for that, we're just going to store that inside image data. And here, that's what's beautiful about the functions. We're just going to use our function get, and we're just going to provide the image URL. And we'll have our image data, which is ready to be saved on the computer now. So now we have all the information. We have all the we have the image data, we have the image name, and we have all of that. And now we're ready to save everything onto our computer. So we're gonna create a path where to save that. My path is gonna be C localhost PHP images. So if I go to this folder here, this is my folder, C localhost PHP. I'm going to create a folder called images as well. And this is the folder where it's going to be saving all the images. 
make sure to provide your own folder for that. Okay, so now we're ready to save our images finally. Let's create a resource with a fopen function and provide the local path along with the image name, which is gonna concatenate the image name to the source destination. And we're gonna use W to write the image names. Then we're gonna use fwrite function to write the actual image data, which takes in the parameter resource, which is our file. And then the image data, which we got from curl here. And now we'll save the image. And then we're just gonna close the resource with F close. Okay, so now everything should be working. So let's go ahead and run the script and check the folder. And in fact, everything is working. It's downloading all the image names automatically from Bing. And if you check the image, it's in fact the full resolution size and it's downloading all these beautiful images automatically. And that's it. If you guys found this uh, video useful, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.